It was my idea to take a pause, okay? Nini was going to theater camp, and not to brag, but I'm not exactly intimidated by guys who voluntarily wear tights. I didn't want to take a pause. It was only for a month we could have FaceTimed every day. I mean, fine. Did I hang out with a couple girls this summer? Possibly. Did I talk about Nini the entire time? Absolutely. I feel good about this. It's a fresh start. Everyone's on the same page. This is a nightmare. Everything is terrible. Love is dead. I, it would be insane to think I might actually have shot at playing Gabriella. Right? As a school's resident, high school musical historian, I basically have zero chill about this right now. I've seen the original movie 37 times and the first 15 minutes of both sequels. Oh no, I'm all for the arts. Like, I pay for ad-free Spotify. I'd just rather see our students practicing skills for the real world, you know? Sue me. I just want to be clear. This new drama teacher may live in a Hollywood dream world where we're the Wildcats, but we're not. We're the East High Leopards. Always have been. I called it. I called it early. Two years ago at East High, Nini played the back end of the cow and Gypsy, and I was like, whoa, who is the cute chorus cow, and why is she not playing a human? And then this summer happened, and she, like, completely came out of her shell. And her cow costume, I mean, she's just amazing. She's meant for greatness. Sure, Nini's a nice girl. I was the stage manager for last year's production of Brigadoon, and Nini was the only cast member who gave me an opening night card, which is like a pretty big gesture from a girl who's literally playing a tree. But like, how does a tree get to date a senior? Is he kidding with this? Shouldn't he be on an airplane right now to Chicago? Shouldn't he be fighting to, to save this? I get it. I get why she didn't want to come in costume. She's nervous. She wanted to wear a good luck sweatshirt. I mean, honestly, she could wear a burlap sack and she'd still be a star. People think a theater teacher's job is to put on a good show, and they're not wrong. But we're really in the business of saving lives. Give us your tired, your poor, your chosen last for dodgeball. You're safe here. In the old days, teachers would wait two, maybe three days to announce the cast. But when you know, you know. It's called instincts. Buckle up, Wildcats. It's about to get real. I have dreamed about playing a lead at East High since ninth grade. I auditioned, uh, okay, I guess I didn't really audition. They were doing Beauty and the Beast, and the old drama teacher asked me to be a fork. Uh, after that, I was the back of a cow in Gypsy, but in my heart, I was Dainty June. And now, I'm Gabriella. And Ricky is not going to ruin this for me. He's already ruined this for me. I'm gonna turn this around with Nina, with pheromones. Sometimes what you smell is more important than what you see. Last spring, we're at the mall, and this chick, like, ambushed me, sprayed this on me. I was like, yo, back off. And Nini was like, mm, what is that? Never wash that side of your neck again. I sprayed all of me. There's an old adage in the theater. Abysmal read-through, a brilliant opening night, <laughs> or something like that. The important thing is to have patience and trust that a breakthrough will happen. That was hands down the worst experience of my life. I would take the SATs every week if I never have to do that again. I'm sort of obsessed with musical theater, which makes me stand out a little bit in my family. They raise cattle and sheep. I just want to raise the roof. Look, I'm a musical theater person. I've got really good ears. And if Ricky's staying in the show means Nini's out, well, I think we all know the next verse to that song. It means I step into the role of Gabriella, in case that wasn't clear. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I've got my own style. It's called I'm a skater, not a theater person. What am I supposed to do? Stay up all night practicing the steps? Actually prove to Nini that I'm not a quitter at this so she realizes I'm not a quitter at us? Oh. Look, I'm a professional actress. I know what's going on here. I once cornered Andrew Lloyd Webber on a transatlantic flight. <laughs> Made him autograph my forehead. It's important to set up impossible situations in rehearsal. That way, by opening night, the cast has been through every possible emergency scenario. Someone has a heart attack in the audience, keep dancing. The sound system goes out because of a freak tornado, keep dancing. Tornadoes come and go. 
dance is forever. Things were simpler when I was a teenager. We had flip phones and M3P players. My job, in a nutshell, is to put these kids on airplane mode so they can fly. Yep, I saw it too. EJ was supposed to return that phone. Suddenly feeling hashtag complicit. Okay, is it just me? Or is it possible that Gina stole my phone? She schedules an early rehearsal that she knows I'll miss, and then shows up with a whole new dance number featuring her freakish rhythmic gymnastic skills that she knows I can't do. But now, I'm in the doghouse of Miss Jen. Is any of this an accident? I mean, pff, she's willing to steal a spotlight. What else is she willing to steal? Not so hot? Is that about my voicemail? I mean, is that her answer? That was her answer. I've seen the movie a few hundred times. Vanessa Hudgens walks in and stands there. What I don't remember is the part where she jumps into the splits and cracks her pelvis. Oh, it's on. Why do I have it out for Miss Jen? I don't. I have it in for my program. I need a minimum of 12 students in my robotics club to go to China. Four have already dropped out for the musical, and I don't have the technology to make four more. This is war. So I've thought about what EJ said and decided that sometimes you just have to stand up and do what's right. I'm returning Gina's shoes. When she isn't looking. I'm looking forward to doing this scene today. You know? I'm just gonna be Troy. A decent guy with a lot of talent whose only problem is that he cares too much. I'm just gonna power through the day, find Nini, say what I need to say, and everything will be fine. Just gotta get through this Chad rehearsal and get on with my life. No, I'm not gonna fall on my sword and confess about the phone now. Don't need to make Ricky look like the good guy. It was a one-time thing and no one has to know. I'm just gonna keep my head down and forget about the last 48 hours. As soon as this heals. Okay, so when Miss Jen asked me to be on the costume crew for HSM, I was like, but there aren't any costumes in this movie. They're just high schoolers. But she was like, it's a period piece, get creative. So I'm digging through old costume racks, seeing what I can repurpose, but like, what did people in 2006 <laughs> even wear? I pretty much wore diapers. But hey, my job is to make it work. We're a team, right? Everybody pulling together. That's what makes theater such a safe and loving environment. Why do these people talk in code? Up means down, strike means move, she says, break a leg, and I'm like, what did my leg ever do to you? I never should have joined the crew. Okay, I have more chemistry with the woman who definitely doesn't color my hair. What's up with these two? Look, I know this happens. People change, parents drift apart. I just, I really thought they were on the mend. You know, and after everything that's been going on with me, I guess I'm just not good at rolling with stuff when everything feels different. This is the moment when the creative team begins to give the show over to the cast, which is strangely emotional, actually. But Miss Jen says that's a life in the arts. Well, that and almost constant unemployment. I believe a director's first job is to look out for the well-being of her cast. I'm losing my leading lady's focus right when I need it most. And I know just the place to put the pep back in Nini's performance. Big Red, okay? I I'm taking Big Red to his first ever dance. Friend of the year over here. Give me a ribbon. Forward. Throw it back. Who needs a girlfriend when you got a best friend with two left feet? He's bringing the mints, I'm bringing the moves. Oh boy. There's no plan, okay? I had a vague idea that Nini was gonna be with Courtney, see me with EJ, and then... I don't, I don't know, just get so fed up with all the drama that she just quit the show or something? Yes, it's picture day for the cover of our program. I was in photography club for a year in middle school, so... Click. Of course, today's the day I'm supposed to stage the boldest concept of the entire show. The good news is, the idea kind of sells itself. He worked hard and he looks really good now. In, in, in the show, he, he looks really good in the show. There's a lot people don't know about me. I'm on the debate team, I'm in the baking club. Oh, I'm high priestess of the Salt Lake Renaissance Fair. So meek, so mild, sword. Whatever. I learned a little something when I came clean to Nini during all that Miss Jin drama. I felt free. And I want to keep feeling that feeling. So I've been admitting everything I've done wrong in my life, and it just it 
feels right. Look, I'm not following Big Red just because he paid me a compliment. I get a lot of compliments, okay? I just happen to be a longtime fan of the South Side Knights. It's the West High the Knights. The West High Knights. Yeah, no, it, it's good. They have inside jokes. It's cute. <laughs> They're, uh, we now. We fell asleep, we smelled smoke, we pulled the fire alarm, and Benjamin Mazara said run. So I ran. I will donate my entire salary to rebuild the theater. But the show must go on. It's just, I'm the props guy, so it's kind of a hard day. I, I guess if you hold it like this, you can't tell it got ruined. They say that one way to heal from a bad memory is to immerse yourself back in that memory. This should be extremely healing. Here's what I learned this week. The confessional thing went a bit too far. The truth is, I don't need to apologize for who I am. Whatever it says in Miss Jen's audition file, I am me, and that is the only me I need to be. I couldn't say my A's, so I called her Nini. <laughs> and it just, um... It just sort of stuck. Look, I'm not gonna give up on costumes or makeup, but for the first time, I see why Nini wants this so bad. And if she's not gonna put herself out there, I'll do it for her. We were able to secure the gym as our performance space tonight. I made a video on my phone of three rats fighting over a milk dud at the El Rey Theater, and the school board and principal caved. <laughs> I just like to take a moment alone on opening night before all the chaos begins. Savor the solitude. Look, Big Red's a sweet guy. We're friends. You know, I don't need some great romance to be complete or whatever. We're good. I already loaned them my robotics club lighting console. I might as well save the show, too. It's tough, you know, seeing Gina. It's like she never left. But I'm also not who I was a week ago. Or maybe I'm just back to who I always was. I don't know. Something's different. What just happened? That just happened? I don't think he's ever been part of anything before. <laughs> but he's finally found his thing. Big Red the Third, doing the name right. <laughs> Thank you, sweetie. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs>